Good morning. morning. This is our first morning in Delhi and we have negotiated a rickshaw to take us to Lalkila Metro Station, which is where our food tour is starting from. Don't wait, let's get going. This is jalebi, made from very fine wheat flour, which they then deep fry and put into syrup. Let's give this a go. Mm. It's like all the good bits of a donut, but nowhere near as heavy. It's wonderful. Really, really good. It's been made in a spiral form, and it really reminds me of funnel cake because it's also served to you warm. It's so good. Wow, it's so hot and so gooey, it's amazing. We are now trying to eat bala and basically what they do is they take lentil flour and they make it into kind of like a little pancake and then they put it in the oil and fry it up and it's served with this tamarind yogurt. I have no idea what to expect. Mm. So it's savory and it's served cold actually, even after coming out of the deep fryer. But then the yogurt is sweet. So it's a really interesting mix of savory and sweet. This is chola kocha. This is fermented chickpeas and it has some bread in here as well, prepared with raw onions on top of that. So let's give this a go. Oh wow. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that's stunning. You can't really tell too much of those chickpeas in there, but there's just a huge spice hit that really kicks to the back of your throat. It's so nice. Really, really good. To our first masala chai. Oh wow, that's good. 
That is so good. It's creamy, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. While still having that underlying tea, it's oh, so good. Say this all in one, so there you guys nothing. What is it? What is it? I can't even put my finger on what that is. Okay. It's got a little bit of everything. To me, that was like a fried dough ball that had a sweet and sour taste to it. To the hotel room after the food tour and I think we're both about to be in food as we ate so much food but we prepared well because we did not have breakfast the tour didn't start till noon and I don't think we're planning on having dinner no and I don't think we're gonna need to because 
It seems like a lot of the food that we got given was either something bready or something deep fried. So it was extremely filling food. Or both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so either way, we're not going hungry. Yeah, the food was absolutely delicious. And I thought it was interesting because, of course, in Europe and the UK and North America, you have Indian food. But other than the palak paneer and maybe like the chickpea curry, Mm -hmm. All of this was totally different and authentically Indian, exclusive to India. It hasn't been brought over and no. been North Americanized for a better term. No, exactly. And I think it was great because actually even a lot of kind of the staples that people say you have to try this when you go to India, like masala chai, for example. That was maybe my favorite. I might survive on that. Or like a proper sweet lassi. Mm -hmm as India intended. The opportunity to have those was a real treat because it was done just perfectly as yeah. well. I think my favorite was the masala chai and then of course the tandoori naan with the palak paneer, but everything was so good. It was incredible. All of it was great. I think for me, I geared more towards the drinks, but I think that's really just because it's really humid here. Mm. And so hydration was really the key. You liked that soda. Yeah, the soda that I ended up kind of popping the bottle for. They seem to have like lots of different kinds of soda and the whole idea is it's meant to be kind of a, something just to help the food down. Mm -hmm. And like we saw like rose ones, we ended up trying a spicy one, uh, but the one that I enjoyed the most was the lemon one. Basically it tasted like a Sprite, but with about a quarter of the sugar. So it was more lemon flavored than anything else. It was just divine. And I think my favorite dessert was actually the first food that we tried here. Mm. That was kind of like a funnel cake. Yes. That was to die for. But if we ate like this every day, we would be huge people. Like oh, they right. deep fry everything so much. I understand we were trying a lot in a concentrated amount of time. Yes. But It'll be interesting to see what we eat on a day-to-day -day basis going forward since we're going to be in India for a while. Yeah, and also it'll be interesting to see what we end up eating as we go to different mm. parts of the country as well, especially as we travel further south because apparently the cuisine is slightly different. So really curious as to our gastronomic journey through India, really. In terms of the tour itself, it was interesting because we got to explore Chandni Chok, which is where we spent most of our time, yep. but also the spice market, which is called Kari Boli. I'm probably butchering both of those names. So it was great to see two areas of New Delhi that were on our list. The guides were... I think they were very good at explaining the food. Yes. Definitely. They talked through exactly the process, all the ingredients that get thrown into mm -hmm. it. That was wonderful. In terms of the history kind of the rest of it from a more cultural perspective in terms of the buildings that we were seeing. But I think all in all, it was definitely a good first introduction to the city, 100%. to what to eat and what not to eat here. They took us into a Sikh temple. Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a unique thing, but that was also linked to food. That was that was kind of cool because yeah. essentially, um, as a branch of that, then they were making food really to give to the needy and really care for the community, which I think was just beautiful. Yeah, it was a whole kitchen that was run by volunteers, mm. and it was free for everyone to come and get food. Yeah. And I wish we could have filmed inside the temple mm. because the atmosphere, there was like singing or chanting, I'm not sure what you call it. Yeah. And it was just so colorful and beautiful with like reds and yellow flowers and silver and gold. And I wish we could have filmed it. Yeah. It was a bit of an interesting cab ride home. We got an Uber, got stuck in traffic and we got stuck in traffic next to a lot of kids who were tapping on the windows and begging us for money, trying to get us to give our phones over. Sunglasses, yeah. they wanted a hair tie. I don't know if they thought they could sell these objects. And, yeah, anything so they where could... they thought they could get some money out of it, um, then they were after it, so. And it was incessant too, like they yeah. did not give up. No, like we told them that one, we didn't have any cash on us, which we didn't. And two, we weren't gonna give them the stuff, but they just wouldn't stop. There's something so sad about that because there do seem to be people lying on the ground, mm -hmm. adults and children alike, 
yeah. in various states of dress, whether it be without shoes for everyone mm -hmm. or kids with only half clothes on, basically. Yeah. And I mean, I guess in one of the most populated, if not the most populated city in the world where there's overcrowding, you're going to have homelessness. But it really is in your face here everywhere. And it is the summer right now. So it is like 40 degrees and so humid. And people, I don't know how they're doing it. They're just sleeping on the street in the middle of the day with all this noise going on. And all this commotion around them, like the honking is insane when you're driving. And just, yeah, the driving is as nuts as everyone says it is. Yeah, as we've gone through this journey so far, I've already earmarked two countries where I would just never drive. And Egypt was one of them. This is the second. Yeah. Never in a million years. You would not see me dead behind the wheel of a car here. Everyone has said that India is absolutely wild. And our first impressions of New Delhi are for sure that it is crazy, it is crowded, it is loud, but it smells so good because the spices they use mm -hmm. are absolutely incredible. Like you get scents of rose and saffron and cardamom and cinnamon. It's just fantastic in that respect, but yeah. it is overwhelming the amount of people here, the amount of cars here. It's very concentrated, the noise, the color. It's quite the assault on the senses, so you have to be just very mentally prepared for what's about to come. But even then, like, there's really not much that can truly prepare you for this unless you've been here before. Yeah, people had warned us, and I thought it was going to be like this, but it's just more basically so it'll be interesting to see because we're going to be here a while how we acclimatize to that so yeah on to the next day tomorrow indeed but until next time take care and keep smiling